Hello. Um, <clears throat> today I'm gonna talk about uh, John Wick Chapter 4. In the past I have talked about all three movies. And uh, I thought why not talk about the... Uh, Newest one, though there will not be spoilers. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, anything regarding, like, uh, any worries if you haven't seen it yet, although at the time I am recording this, it is, you know, May 24th, <clears throat> still, and, uh, Obviously, this will be a couple weeks later because as of now, the whole Rocky franchise thing is going on of me talking about, you know, uh, all of those movies, um, which are very good. But, you know, I didn't really want to disrupt the flow of that, but uh, yeah, which could put me in a disadvantage to some degree because everybody will have been talking about it who has seen it, but... I just uh, wanted to <clears throat> give my initial thoughts, no spoilers. Um, you know, this film takes place sometime, obviously, after John Wick 3, and uh, obviously you got uh, Keanu Reeves. Um, I, ha I have my computer here just so I can uh, read some of the names of some of the new people in the cast. Um, Ian McShane is back as Winston. Uh, Lance Reddick is uh, Sean's uh, again, which, as of uh, the recording of this, you know, last week he passed away unexpectedly. So, this is one of the very last movies he has ever done, uh, at least completed. He was attached to a bunch of other projects, some of which uh, have wrapped filming. Others still ongoing, so yeah. Got a uh, Lawrence Fishburne back as uh, Bowery, uh, Bowery, what are you? Bowery uh, King. Yeah, I gotta love uh, being able to pronounce words 100% correctly and as well as names. Uh, he's back in the role uh, that he, we've seen him in. And uh, Bill Skarsgård is basically like a, a new villain here. He's a marquee in this. You know, uh, yeah. You know, destroys the Continental in New York. And yeah, Winston is excommunicado, so. <clears throat> There's so many things going on there. And then, of course, John Wick is, you know, trying to get help from certain friends of his. All the while, uh, uh, the, Mar the Marquis, uh, he's uh, recruiting people to get uh, John Wick, including uh, Kane, who... Uh, it's played by Donnie Yen. He uh, is an old friend of John's, and he is blind, but he's very good at combat with, with a sword cane as well as a gun. So, uh, you know, him being blind doesn't uh, uh, hinder that. He doesn't want to do so, but he, uh, he does so because of his daughter. He wants to keep her safe, and so... That is the only reason. Uh, you know, he agrees to go and uh, get uh, uh, get and kill John Wick. Not really get him, but just to kill him. Um, and of course, there's a bounty uh, on John Wick's head. And. Uh, Uh, 
yeah, this is a this is a very good film. Um, it's it's just really amazing just from beginning to end. Um, it's 169 minutes, but do not let that uh, seem very daunting if you haven't seen it uh, yet. Because it goes by really fast, so it doesn't seem like it's, you've watched a movie for almost three hours. It really goes by very quickly, and that's I think that's the mark of a good movie. Um, when something is uh, at a, a certain length, and you watch the movie, and then... <clears throat> You know, it doesn't seem like all that long. It might have seemed shorter um, uh, to some degree. You know, maybe like two and a half hours or so. Um, not near, nearly three. So I think that's mark of a good film. Um, uh, we see the uh, Osaka uh, uh, Continental run by uh, Shimizu Koji, uh, played by uh, Hiroki, Hiroki uh, Sanda. I, I, I know for a fact I uh, just ruined that man's name, uh, which I apologize for. Um, and uh, Rina Sawayama plays a uh, Akira, his uh, daughter, and so, uh, you know, she's not really fond of the fact that, you know, John Wick's assistant to uh, help, or wants his help uh, in any way, because that just means that uh, uh, people are going to come to, uh, you know, uh, get him and also uh, kill uh, so many of the people in the uh, Continental, like employees, and so uh, that's not wanted at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a lot of, a uh, lot of the stuff that you see in this film is, uh, just so well done with the action you know the action of these movies are great um, all the way around um, I remember uh, how in the, seeing the first film and just how just unique and different the uh, uh, the fighting uh, uh, was it's just uh, It's really cool, and uh, I appreciate how they keep going and making the uh, uh, the action all the more uh, sort of upping it, but not overdoing it. If that makes sense, you know they keep uh, trying to make the action just as good, if not better, than the previous movies, and so. Um, you know, that can perhaps, uh, in, in the minds of some people, uh, work against it in uh, a movie in some ways. You know, it could be perhaps seen as over the top, but uh, not in this movie, not in this series. I've never thought the action was over the top to the point where it was just like, see, it was ridiculous. Uh, it was pretty appropriate for sort of like the world that, uh, that John Wick is in. Um... Yeah, there's also um, <clears throat> another character, uh, the Tracker, uh, played by uh, uh, Shamir An Anderson. Uh, he was really good. He has a dog in this, you know, so in a way it's kind of a, a interesting kind of parallel to uh, John, uh, John Wakin regarding to, uh, you know, he has a, he has a dog or... <clears throat> you know, in these films, he always has, like, a dog, basically. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a really good film. Um, 
I will say, um, there is a post credit scene uh, uh, at the end of the movie. So after the movie is done, sit through the credits in the theater and you'll see it. Uh, another scene before it ends and uh, is dedicated to uh, uh, Lance Reddick. Um, which I was wondering if they would actually do for this movie since he died a week before the movie was released. You know, it's like, uh, you know, his passing was so unexpected that it's like sometimes uh, with things like that, they don't really uh, dedicate a movie to somebody <clears throat> who passed on like just before the movie came out like a week or so before like they passed away but just like that time limit they don't always do that but they did here and I think that was pretty cool um and yeah um there's gonna be some spin-offs you know uh, a film uh, ballerina which might take place I, I from what I've uh, heard and read about it it takes place between three and four uh, Keanu Reeves is John Wick in that, um, as is um, <clears throat> Lance Reddick. Uh, he's in that too. And I believe Ian McShane is uh, Winston. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he is. Um, but regardless, um, the spinoff look. Uh, uh, looks good, and there's the prequel TV series, The Continental, um, gonna be on Peacock, uh, here in America, um, I think other places in the world will be, like, Amazon Prime, I think, pretty sure Canada also will get it, and, uh, like, I guess North America is where, uh, uh, uh The Continental will stream on Peacock, and then, um, <clears throat> The rest of the world will be Amazon Prime, so yeah. And uh, uh, whether it be uh, yeah, is uh, what the future will hold uh, uh, after this film, aside from the couple spinoffs, uh, the spinoff and prequel. Um, I'm not sure. I'd like to see. Uh, some sort of continuation from this new film. I will just say that. Um, a lot of people are saying this is the best in the series. And um, I can definitely see why people would say that. Um, it's a really good film. Um, it's definitely uh, worth watching. You know, it's cool fun action movie and if you've seen these three movies uh just seeing the story and the characters that are in all three of these as well as the new characters they're all interesting and it's uh it's 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 it's, it's just a very involved franchise regarding like the story and characters and i'm just glad that we uh We get to keep, uh, see um, where all these characters uh, uh, continue to just continue, just you know, just live and just see this world. Um, and I hope uh, one day we'll see a follow-up to this film uh, in some ways. Um, they were originally going to do four and five, but they decided, you know. They wanted to make this one and, you know, make that count. And then maybe sometime they'll make a fifth film just to see how well this does, which does make sense, you know. Because um, even though this the fourth film will make quite a bit of money, um, as far as I've gathered, has made quite a bit of money already. Um, <clears throat> but, you know... Uh, they want to make sure that uh, people respond to it very well. And they don't just make a fifth one when perhaps the fourth one wasn't so great, you know. 
just like, uh, you know, they want to make sure when they're making a, one of these movies, it's actually good. It's very good and there's a story worth telling and they can keep going until they think they said everything they can with the John Wick character and the that overall world. So, and perhaps with the these uh, spinoff and the prequel, perhaps that could uh, uh, get things going for the people involved in the making of these films to just sort of, you know, uh, continue with it. And I uh, definitely hope uh, they will. This is a very good franchise. Uh, and yeah. Um, I don't know if I would say it is my favorite or it's the best one. Um, there is recency bias, so I guess in a way I would probably say the fourth is my favorite, but I do love the first film. It's great. Second is amazing. So is the third, and it's just... This franchise is amazing, and I know that this was originally a trilogy, supposed to be, but then they, you know, kept having uh, endings where there's going to be another one, you know, there's going to be more. And so, yeah, let's just see what happens. Uh, perhaps there'll be a fifth one, uh, and maybe even a sixth one. Uh, who, who knows? I don't know. Just depending, or just depends on what all uh, <clears throat> the people behind the scenes that make them. Uh, you know, if they think that there's a story worth telling, they'll probably do it. And Keanu Reeves, if he uh, still feels like he wants to keep going and that the story that has been written and uh, proposed to him uh, is worth uh, continuing the franchise and no doubt he will uh, uh, continue because I remember he said he played John Wick for as long as he he's basically able you know until he like loses interest basically so let's hope that this will uh, that, that sentiment is still with him um, I would love to see more but you know we shall see. So far, the fan, you know, reception to this film is very positive. So I think that's a good sign, at least. And uh, it'll probably have a good uh, opening weekend. And this movie was supposed to be out. Uh, this film was supposed to be out in, like, you know, 2021. But the pandemic happened, so they postponed it to 2022. Why didn't they postpone it for this year? Uh, or so post-production could have a little longer as well as you know uh, some films like you know Top Gun Maverick was so huge that you know they obviously wanted it to do well this film to do well on its own merits and not have to worry about any major competition so it coming out at the end of March and having like no doubt all of April and a probably good chunk of May you know being able to play this uh, uh, this film in theaters no doubt will uh, uh, make a good amount of money and fans uh, have uh, overall been very uh, uh, received this film to be very positive I think it's a really good film it's a great movie I think that it would be awesome to see more <clears throat> You know, as long as the people making them uh, feel like they have uh, good stories and everybody involved in this film wants to keep going, um, that can, obviously. Uh, uh, Lance Reddick can't, unfortunately. May he rest in peace. But um, the others who, you know, you know, if they uh, have any interest in this, you know, be a franchise regulars, uh, either from the beginning or became sort of uh, uh, regulars in this franchise, um, we shall see. And I hope uh, if they all come together again, uh, it'll probably be, it will probably uh, be very good. And, uh, 
you know, all these movies have been really excellent. And that's kind of a, a rare thing to do. You know, it's hard enough to have a trilogy of films that are all just as good, if not better, than the last film. Um, so to have this be the case four times is quite something. Um, yeah, I just uh, really love this film and this franchise. Uh, the gun choreography and uh, the action scenes, just uh, everything about this is just, or I guess gunplay would be more accurate than just gun choreography. Though I guess you could call it gun choreography. They call, they call this uh, the genre gun fu, which is kind of funny. But, uh, yeah. I don't really have too much uh, else to say other than um, I enjoyed this film. Um, if you haven't seen it at this point and you've seen all of these, I think it would be worth uh, watching. And uh, if you have seen this movie, uh, what did you think? Um, I'm trying to keep this as spoiler-free as possible. So uh, if you could please uh, not have any spoilers, that would be... Uh, like in the comments that would be nice um but yeah that's all i really have for, uh for today um so i hope all of you are doing well uh all of you have had a great week hope you've all had a great day and you'll all have a great weekend and i will see you all next time Take care. Bye.